Dusty. What is that up ahead? I think I see something cool. I'll check it out with my binoculars. What do you see, Duke? I think it looks like a... I don't know, it's some guy encased in a plastic shielding of some sort. Move a little bit forward, we'll check him out. A little bit to the left. I'll hop out. Check it out for us, Duke. Yeah, Dusty, tell us what you see. Looks like someone called Constable Zuvio. He's, yeah, he's pretty trapped in here. I'm gonna come down there and take a look. Ripcord. Yeah? You stay here and keep watch. You got it, boss. What do you reckon we do with this guy? Well, I think we should uh, turn him over to John, the vintage geek. He'll be able to get him out of this here plastic whatever, um, open him up for everyone to see, and then we'll all know about him. To me, he looks like someone who takes after my own, living in the desert. I mean, check out that face mask. You know he's like, you know, probably living in some outpost, keeping, keeping order. He could be just someone right up my alley. Maybe we could use him, Duke. Well, let's figure out who he is first. Because, you know, we got to know more about him. And knowing is half the battle. Yo, Joe! Sounds fine to me. All right, John, the vintage geek, take it over from here. Come on, guys, let's get out of here. Hey guys! Woohoo! <laughs> it's another super awesome Geek Show unboxing video. I just wanted to give you a close up look of, at my custom Finn in Stormtrooper gear, Black Series, and 5POA 3.75 inch. All you have to do is pop their heads off, both figures, and if you have the Black Series versions and the 3 and 3 quarter inch versions of Finn, pop their heads on them. And there you go, we got a new action figure. So <laughs> I think I'm going to be hitting the stores and grabbing another one of each of these and another one of each of the fins. And yeah, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have these on my shelf as secondary options for these characters. Awesome. But today we are talking Constable Zuvio, one of the guys in the Stars Club here in the local Seattle area. For, you know, it's a Star Wars fan club that we all are on Facebook together. Uh, he had a couple of these left, so I grabbed one from him, and I really, really want to uh, say thank you, and I appreciate that. Um, but, uh, yeah, Constable Zuvio, Black Series, 6-inch figure. So, uh, let's get to opening this guy up. I'm John, your host of the Super Awesome Geek Show. You can find us at superawesomegeekshow.com, and listen to our podcast on iTunes. Let's open this guy up. I'm going to give you some close-ups of the package front and back, and then we'll get them open and go through all the play features of this cool new Black Series figure. It's my first one of the second wave, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting more 
and I, I know I said it was my last, you know, a couple of videos ago that it was my last Star Wars guy that I had to open, but, you know, I, I keep getting more. I'm, I got a sickness. We all do, right? Yeah. All right. Well, here you go. Let's open this guy up. Yay! Zuvio! Can't wait to find out who he is in the movie and what happens with him, you know? Is he a major part or just like a minor guy? Like, you just go, hey, here's some stuff. See you later. <laughs> all right. Be right there with the close-ups. Okay, here we have Constable Zuvio Black Series from Hasbro in his packaging as he comes. He's actually already hanging on to his cool little bladed staff thing. I think it's just a bladed staff. It looks like this is some kind of, you know, metalized, ha you know, axe sort of hatchet dealy thing. Nice strap on it. Cool handle. Three, two or three colors on the handle. I always like it when the weapons are very detailed, have multiple paint uh, applications. He looks really cool in the packaging. Comes with a, that backpack. Let's see if it still has the fly swatter like the little three and three quarter inch does. Constable Zuvio for four plus by Hasbro. Nice picture there. Get you some zoom ups on this. So here he is in the box there. You can see all his equipment, that nice staff. And get a good look at the photo on the front. Because that's a pretty nice uh, image they did of him. I think it's pretty cool. Well, let's go to the back. Back of the packaging, Constable Zuvio number 9, Star Wars Black Series. All the text in four different languages describing him. Disney Hasbro, a lot of warning and attention labels there. You know, just don't kill yourself while you're playing with them and everything. That's all they want you to do. You can find out more information, StarWars.com slash Force Awakens, or just go to StarWars.Hasbro.com. Let's zoom in and read you some of that text. This basically says the uh, same thing that we've seen on other cards, you know, his single carded and other versions of them. Constable Zuvio, a vigilant law officer on a mostly lawless world. The tough and humorless Constable Zuvio keeps order in a frontier trading post. And I'll let you see some of the other languages in case you know how to read those. I don't. Alright. Let's get to opening them up. Dusty was correct, I think. I believe we're going to see this guy on Jakku. He opens from the top. So I'll just pop that open. Slide him right out. Bam. Don't need the box anymore. We'll get his backpack out. Clunk. And then pop him right out of there. He looks good right from the start, huh? Constable Zuvio in his backpack. I'm going to take the weapon off first and just show you some, you know, he's got the standard articulation. Bends at the elbows, twists at the elbows. His arms go, you know, up and around. He's got full movement. His armor doesn't bother him. Goes up like that, you know, his hand can move in and it has the nice twisting action there. So you can do whatever you want with that. He's got some head bob, yes sir. You know, nice twist on there. Can go all the way around. These are all on ball joints, I think. His cape's a little flexible, both in the front and the back little bit there. He's got slots in the back and slots in the side which I imagine the backpack will go into. Cool detailing on the helmet. I'm starting to think this is just part of the helmet and like a uh, it is it, you know will enhance his voice or something. It's not really a cybernetic part I don't think. He's got the standard leg bend. Um, I don't know I think the back is a little bit limited by that cape but his leg twists, 
double knee joint, so you can do some knee poses, you know. Foot bob, you know, twist and... You, ah, you broke my foot! What? Ah, oh my gosh, this hurts so bad! Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. This little thingy weapon... I think can go over his... Let's see if it can go over him. Let's do it. Get up there. Get on there. Come on. I know you can do it. Yeah. So I guess you could do that if you wanted to, right? Kind of works, right? <laughs> I think it looks better just, you know, ugh, being in his hand, right? Doo -doo -doo. Hey guys. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Looks better being in his hand. Let's get that backpack on him. So there's these two parts here, a peg and a thing, and they all slide into these holes. He does have that fly swatter thing, but actually it looks more like it's not thin like a fly swatter really is, so it's, you know, probably something else, some communication thing or antenna. I mean, we all knew it wasn't a fly swatter. If you want to know what I'm talking about, look at my three and three quarter inch unboxing video. I was just making fun of him for a moment, laughing that it kind of looked like a fly swatter. So that just slides right in. You can see how that goes right in like that and goes into that slot, pops into his back. Looks pretty cool. Let's give you some close-ups of this guy. I like his detailing in his head and the uh, armor around his chest there. So we'll bring him up in close, okay? Again, this guy has some awesome eyes. His face, he's got like a wash that went over his face when they painted him. So they gave him some really good detailing in there. His weapon looks really cool. And that, uh, let's see if I can, I don't know if the weapon's totally in focus. There you go. That looks better, right? His helmet just has incredible detailing. And they also put like a, a, a silver, silver metallic wash over it when they painted the guy so that it kind of looks like it's a metallic helmet that's been painted red and green and some of the paint has kind of scratched off in the in the weather in the wear same with the armor piece that he's wearing the red has some silver wash over it and the shoulder pads that were green have that same effect so um, they did a lot a lot of paint detail in this character and I'm loving it I'm digging how they went the extra mile there and made him look really cool and then he's got on his coat there, it's like all muddy and gross in the bottom from uh, being out in the desert, you know? So I thought that's kind of neat. Let me spin him around for you and we'll show you the his side profile. He stays in focus. See the detailing of his backpack with the what we're I'm now going to call some kind of antenna thing or something. It's not a fly swatter, I know. cool right with his pose ability and the way things are you can kind of get him into a dynamic pose like that hey who goes there I control all who enter my outpost what if he sounded exactly like that <laughs>
Don't be messing with me and my outpost, or you'll be messing with the wrong end of my weapon here. Fools. Let's compare them to the uh, three and three quarter inch, okay? Be right back. So here they are, the Black Series 6 inch compared to the 3 and 3 quarter inch 5 POA figure that came single carded. Clearly you want the Black Series over the 3 and 3 quarter, but they're both really nice to have, and I'm glad that I have both of these figures. Pretty cool. Halt right there! Go no further, Stormtrooper! I'm not a Stormtrooper anymore, man! I defected! Well, hey, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I, you know, I love these, uh, these Black Series figures. Can't wait to get more and show you more as I unbox them. I, I, I mean, I, I know I'm going to just end up getting all the second series ones eventually, so we'll do all those too. <laughs> and I'm going to keep looking for that Han and Tauntaun set because the Wampa and Luke was so good. Alright, for Finn Stormtrooper gear and Constable Zuvio, I'm John, your host of the Super Awesome Geek Show, and we're out of here. Thanks a lot for watching, thanks for subscribing. And uh, please comment below if you got anything you want to talk about. Love to see the comments. You know, share, like it, subscribe. You know, do whatever you wish. It's all good. Thanks. We really appreciate it. Check out our podcast, The Super Awesome Geek Show, on iTunes. Or you can go right to the website, superawesomegeekshow.com, and find everything you need right there. So I got the YouTube videos on the back page and on the YouTube channel. And, uh podcast is all right there. You can go through all the way back to episode number one if you want. And if you really feel like supporting us, go to Patreon. We're on Super Awesome Geek Show on Patreon. We have pledges that start as low as 50 cents, so spare change helps. We don't ask for much. You don't even have to do anything. I mean, you can just... I mean, this we do this stuff for free, so don't worry about it. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's all cool with us. All for one, one for all. I believe if we all help each other, there's room at the top for everyone, and we can all achieve our goals. So thanks a lot to the community out there who's been helping. We really, really appreciate it, and we'll continue to help and support you guys as well. Anything else? I don't think so. Let's just get out of here. Oh, yeah. Tweet with me at Awesome Geek Show on Twitter, at Awesome Geek Show. That's where you can find us. And we have lots of great conversations going on there about all kinds of things. Star Wars, Transformers, all kinds of toys and action figures and comic books. I'm always posting a lot of things about my comics and different things that I feel like reading, you know, that day or stuff that comes out new. So, you know, we tweet, tweet, tweet all the time. So you can find us there and get chatting. Facebook, Super Awesome Geek Show also if you want to. We're going to start doing that more and more. All right. Talk to you guys later. See ya. Keep it geeky out there, everyone. Star Wars! This is the end of the video, and John is signing off. Constable Zuvio, Finn and Stormtrooper gear. Do 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 do